that sound? That is a fire alarm. I understand that it has to be loud enough so that people can get out in time and safely. But hearing it outside is nothing compared to hearing it inside. My dog puked because of it. I felt like puking. I almost had a seizure because of the sound. Um, I probably would have if I didn't get out in time. Um, I understand it has to be loud enough so that people can hear, but it shouldn't be that loud. People can go deaf from this. It's been a week since that fire alarm, and I feel like it's been a little bit of a wake-up call. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe something else motivated me. I don't know. But I've been exercising a lot more and um, fixing my glasses constantly because I need new glasses. Um, besides that, taking these toy balls away from this little greedy bastard who's been stealing other dogs' balls at the dog park and being so rude that he gets aggressive and doesn't give the ball back until I trick him into doing it. Anyway, besides that, I've been feeling a lot better, more energetic. I think that's partly due to the fact that I'm not really eating like anything processed. I mostly have been eating like well, okay, yeah, I've been having some processed stuff. Like protein, like, um, like smoked tofu and like sriracha flavor of the smoked tofu. But, uh, yeah, constantly fixing my glasses. Other than that, uh, mostly fruits and veggies. Uh, smoothies, I, uh, mix the fruits with the kale and stuff and like that and, and the protein uh, powder the raw protein it was like a raw vegan protein powder and I've uh, been feeling more energetic and been waking up pretty early and not really feeling tired throughout the day um, I don't know it's been good uh, been positive. I have noticed some fat loss. I don't want to say weight loss um, because muscle weighs more than fat, but um, definitely some fat loss. My arms, my legs, my stomach. And I feel better. So um, the seizures have actually gone down, so I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing right now, and I'm going to enjoy all of this that I have, and just bask in the sun, and enjoy the sunlight, get a nice tan maybe. Obviously not fall asleep in the sun because I don't want to get another sunburn, which was so weird because the sunburn I had was just on one shoulder. Not even like the full shoulder, just just the corner of the shoulder. So weird. But anyway, time to make the trip back home from the dog park and enjoy a nice shower. Who wouldn't have a good day when they, they're constantly seeing this, huh? Am I right or am I right? Zena, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Oh, she's so cute. And Debbie's just being a weirdo. Yeah. I definitely feel like this view definitely. Is that even a word? 
I definitely feel like this view is a lot better. <sighs> beautiful sand tower, beautiful view, beautiful lake, giant lake. <laughs> well, not that giant, but still. Okay. So after working out a bunch uh, this morning and walking to and from the duck park and all the sweat that has accumulated and all the rubbing that has happened, I now realize why some women were so crazy to get that thigh gap because the rubbing that happens when you walk a lot, it's very irritating. It's, a, it's an actual irritation and it can actually cause scarring, which I found out like last, well not last night, but like I've, like I realized last night. I didn't find it out last night. Like I knew it, but like, you know what I mean. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I realized that so many women and possibly even men have tried to obtain this thigh gap because the thigh gap I don't have, probably will never have, I don't know, who knows, because of the rubbing. Rubbing is irritating, it hurts, it sucks. And it's just because there's extra fat in between your thighs. Really, really sucks. But hey, I learned something. <sighs> we gotta leave on a positive note. I learned something. That's the positive part that I learned something about myself is that before I thought screw the thigh gap and now I realize the thigh gap is actually very helpful so I learned something about myself that I want a thigh gap thigh gap oh my god if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not sure. And be sure to check out my other channels. My health channel and my comedy channel. My health channel for tips and tricks on being vegan and to learn more about my epilepsy. And my comedy channel for more last Wednesdays and Thursdays. I love you guys. Mm -hmm.